Hey guys, would you like to know how to map your con PlayStation controller to different keystrokes on the keyboard to be able to use it with different applications to make it easier? Or perhaps as an alternative to the Wacom Express key remote to be used with as a tool in digital painting? I will show you how to do that. To get started, you first need to connect your PlayStation controller to your PC. If you haven't already done that, you can watch my previous video where I explain how to do that. To map the PlayStation controller, I'm using a software called joy to key There's a link to the program in the description. It looks like this. The first thing to note here is that you can set up different profiles and you can associate these profiles with different applications and it will switch automatically when you switch the application. For instance, I have a profile called Krita and it will switch automatically to this profile when I start the Krita software. To map the different buttons on the PlayStation controller to key strokes on the keyboard, you can start by creating a new profile. Test me. Then you can press the different keys on the PlayStation controller and you will see the corresponding one highlighting. So if you want to set the digital uh, right, you just double click, click on it, and here you can choose between different settings. There's a lot, so you can experiment with it. I'll just show you a few of the nice ones, like this one. It will it will switch between two inputs, so we can do like a Shift A, and we can do a B, for instance. You can press OK. If I start Notepad. And now, when I'm pressing the right button on the PlayStation controller, you can see a big A, a small B, a big A, a small B. So it's very easy to set up. Then you have this auto repeat, which I found very handy. You can set it, and then you need to assign how many times, set 10 perhaps, and start the auto repeating after perhaps half a second. Okay, now if we hold the right button, it will write them successively 10 times per second. So, using this to map your controller will pretty much cover all of your needs. But I will show you one special feature that I find very handy and it will open up a few more options for you. Okay. As you can see, if I move the left analog uh, joystick, it will, the event will trigger almost immediately. And it's very hard not to press two directions at the same time. If I move it to the left, I almost always get down or up at the same time. So to fix this with the analog stick, I went inside the options menu, and then inside configure and advanced setting for each device. And pull this slider all the way to the right to the hundred percent. Now what this does, it's basically making your analog stick into a digital stick. So now if I move the stick to the left, it won't activate until it's all the way to the left. So now it's impossible to instead activate or trigger two of the events at the same time. This is very handy for certain programs and features. Okay, so now you can see that this is a much cheaper alternative to the Wacom Express Key Remote. And as an example, I have set up a Krita profile, and I will show you how I use it with Krita. Um, the Krita shortcut bindings that I use, as well as the joy to key uh, Krita profile, will be available in the description below. Okay, so if I open up Krita, I'm using the mouse now, so I won't have the pressure sensitivity. I can draw something and then I can undo it and then I can redo it again. And if I draw a lot of stuff, I can hold and undo a lot of them at the same time. I'm using the analog left and right to uh, undo and redo. You should note I'm only using the left half of the PlayStation remote, uh, controller because I'm using it with one hand and I won't be able to reach the right side. But it's 
a lot of buttons on the left side and it covers most of my needs. So for instance, if I press the left trigger one button, I get the eye dropper tool. And if I hold the shift, uh, hold the left trigger two, I get the, it's like I'm pressing the shift button. And I can change the size of the brush. And I can move, change to the eraser and then change back to the uh, brush and so on and change the mark tool and then move it around and then unselect everything and start painting again. So it's working very good for me. I haven't decided on all the shortcuts yet. I'm very much a beginner when it comes to create and digital painting, but I found Using the remote is so uh, the console is so much easier than using the keyboard. So I hope you find this helpful, and I see you guys later.